What up, Zoconners? It is time to take on Extreme Super Battle Road Transformation Boost. This is a no item first try run using Majin Power. And I gotta say, as somebody who typically makes the dumbest mistakes on these types of stages, this was one of the easiest runs I've ever done. And that should speak to how user friendly a Majin Power team is. What's so great about this is that you've got super attack upon super attack upon super attack, thanks to the main two LR Bootexes. And then everybody else can heal, can stun, can dodge, and otherwise confuse and confound the opponent. So I found this to be extremely easy. Even if you make a couple of misplays here and there, the amount of heal that you get every single turn somewhat offsets some of that leeway. So if you guys are beginners, or you haven't really done the no item runs before, this might be a great opportunity to get started. But that's only if you have a full Majin Power squad. And even if you don't have the team that I have, there are a bunch of other options that you could throw in. So let me start by going over this team build. I'm also going to throw a couple of sample alternate teams from other teams that you could put together in the Transformation Boost category. It's a pretty big category. I primarily focused on extreme teams because since you're fighting the good guys, you typically want to bring the bad guys because they get some boost here and there when they're fighting good guys. So going over the team right now, we've got Tech Exchange Boo. We've also got the LR Boo Tanks. We've got AGL Fit Boo, STR Evil Boo, AGL Bukalo, and Int Boobity. So I'm going to go through each of them and what they contribute to the team while you watch the slaughter unfold. So the reason why I brought the Tech Majin Boo Exchange Unit was because I wanted to have that unit be in a leader spot to give us a full 170% across the board lead. Since one of the main factors of this team is healing, I wanted to maximize my HP as much as possible because that way any percentage heal that you get is that much more exaggerated thanks to the higher HP count. And as you can see, we got over 500,000 health. So 5% of that is a lot. 3% of that is a lot. 15% of that is insane. And that is basically what happens when you bring on Vukulo, LR Boo Tanks. You got Boobity for 8%. You're getting heals left and right. And also what's really cool is that you don't even have to worry about your link leveling too much because the two healing links that are in common with all of these units are Metamorphosis and Infinite Regeneration. Metamorphosis gives you a 5% heal whether you're level 1 or level 10. Infinite Regeneration gives you a level or a 3% heal whether you're level 1 or level 10. And so you add that on top of whenever Bukalo shows up or Bootanks, you're getting a lot of health every single turn. So you can afford to take a super here and there. Obviously, you don't want to be getting hit with supers left and right. Nobody has damage reduction. But the next best thing would be the defense boosting abilities of the Bootanks. Bootanks is kind of like the LR AGL Full Power Frieza in the sense that you can launch super attack upon super attack. The only thing, though, is that the 18 key is the defense booster and the 12 key is the attack booster, which is basically like the Frieza. So what you want to do is go for the 18 key first, and it's very easy to do that because you effectively get double key per key sphere that you pick up, which is really easy. Now for the exchange boo, as you saw there, the evil boo is really good. So after turn three, when you transform into evil boo, evil boo adds to the status effect meta of this team. You can seal upon the super attack, you can stun in the passive, and then you also have a chance to dodge. And then if you're still dominating and the fight continues on, you could even transform into super boo when you get to that point. And super boo has crazy damage reduction, 50%. Chance to perform a critical hit goes up by 12% per rainbow. But I never got to that point. I think we beat every single one of these rounds within four turns or five turns. So I never got to a point where I actually had to transform into Super Boo. Because honestly, Boo Tanks just kept going. Like, look at this. Boo Tank just kept on dominating these guys. So that's pretty much it for Boo Tanks and Exchange Boo. Fit Boo obviously is a must have um, in terms of making this whole process go faster. Fit Boo gives you 300% attack and defense for the first seven turns. You're not taking longer than seven turns, I'm telling you. You got a high chance to dodge, medium chance to stun, so whether you go for additionals or for critical, either way, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. You don't have to worry about dodge at all, because even if you get hit, those stats are pretty crazy. So even if you get hit with a super attack, you can heal that back over time. So Fit Boo is... He's a great unit. I brought him on my Universe Survival Saga no item run, and I brought him on this no item run too. Evil Boo, STR Evil Boo, was probably the biggest question mark for me going in, but he quickly became one of my more reliable units in terms of not even being a main offensive unit. He was able to nerf the enemy's attack and defense by 20%. I actually forgot about that. The main reason why I brought him was for the final part of this event, 
Because the final stage, you have to fight a singular opponent who has a ton of health, which is the STR Ultimate Gohan. So I knew that the Evil Boo would factor in there because that's a Majin Buu Saga enemy. So he would be able to launch an additional super attack. He would also have a high chance to dodge. And I just wanted to get the battle over with at that point, so I knew that he would help with that. But his attack and defense minus 20% works really well on top of the stunning and the defense boosting capabilities of the boot tanks. And then, when you're able to seal the opponent with the tech evil boo, when they only use their normal slaps, if you've got the STR evil boo around, it lessens the effect of those slaps. So everyone just contributed and like everyone's abilities kind of interwove perfectly. AGL Bukalo, he gives a 30% attack boost to power absorption, 50% defense boost. By the way, everybody here is Majin Power, Transformation Boost, and Power Absorption. I make sure that all three of those categories intersected, just so I could get the full effect of this guy's passive. He heals 15% at the start of each turn. He has a high chance to stun the enemy, medium chance to dodge. I mean, this is one of the better banner units that have come out in the last year for Dokkan. This one and the physical TN, there was... Uh, there was a minor debate which one was better, and for this video, definitely a case is being made for AGL Bukalo. And then the last one on the team was the Int Boobity, probably the least important of all of them. I didn't really get to use him a whole lot to the point where I needed his presence, but he definitely helps because with his EZA, he's a Dragon Ball Heroes unit, so if you guys were not really into the Dragon Ball Heroes campaign, it's totally fine. You don't even need this guy. You could bring in anybody else. There are a ton of other Majin Power units that fit Transformation Boost. You could bring the STR Fat Boo for more AoE damage, more stunning. You could bring any number of other units. But the reason why I brought him was I figured he probably wouldn't be doing much offensively. I brought him mainly for the stunning and also for the defense boost. Because with his EZA that he received during the Dragon Ball Heroes EZA, he gives everybody defense plus 50% when you're over 80%. And then you get attack plus 50% and key plus 3 when the HP is below 80%. So if you're kind of losing steam, you get a little bit more offensive. If you're dominating entirely, you gain more defense just to continue that domination. So this unit was really, really nice to include as sort of a back end to every rotation. Plus, 8% heal. That's, that's never a bad thing. So like I said, you could bring in a bunch of other units. Let me actually go over a couple options if you don't have Boobity. You could bring in the physical, or sorry, the, the Tech South Kai Absorb Super Boo. You could bring in the STR Fat Boo. Even the physical Fat Boo, the EZA one from the Hero Extermination event, is actually a really good unit. Because whenever you are below 40% HP, you will automatically recover 30%. It's not a one-time thing where it goes away after the fact. You can do that every single time you fall below. And more often than not, you're going to be bouncing back anyway with all of these other passives. So including another 30% heal, all of that adds up every single turn. You could use the physical Kid Boo for that 50% attack and defense boost if you're above 80 percent honestly kid boot might even be better if you want the whole process to go faster you just got to be ready to dodge android 21 is great more healing more nerfing you have a little bit more of an emphasis on the nerfs so if you lower an enemy's attack and defense by 21 percent while str evil boo is on the field those two combined they're probably not going to be retaliating much in terms of damage so here we are on the final stage finally we have a dokkan attack we also have a majin boo saga opponent so this is where Evil Boo gets to shine. So I think I brought him onto the main rotation. Honestly, Boo Tanks? I wasn't even worried about leaving him as a regular. We do have one attack in the middle. So even if we got super there, I was I was a little too confident in hindsight. Had we been hit with a super in that middle slot, that could have been Doom for us. But because I have Bukulo, AGL, and Fit Boo, I knew this wasn't going to be an issue. So with this Dokkan attack... I'm trying to remember how much I did. Did I even get a critical on this? I don't remember. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Let me see how much we do here. Fit boom, max links. I think we got like four or five, three or four links active right now. 2.9. Okay, 3 million. But we got the additional. I focused more on the additionals for this guy because I wanted his stuns. But we got it. So he did about 4 million damage after two hits. And then Tank started to stack that defense. So by the time this Gohan would actually be able to retaliate, this Tanks would have acquired some defense in the process. But we stun locked him. So that's the great thing about this singular opponent deal. If you got one stunner on each rotation, which you probably would by this point, you can just stun lock the guy. And if you don't, you can at the very least nerf him or you can prepare for impact by boosting your defense. 
here I moved the Boo Tanks off because I wanted to have the Evil Boo really get going. So there's his first attack. There's the additional second attack. And then I have an emphasis on additional because I'm team additional. So I could have had a third attack. I think I get that a couple turns from now. But for the rest of this fight, it's essentially just this. I'm stunning him constantly. He doesn't lay a finger on me. And I'm just beating him into submission. So that is the power of the Majin Boo Squad. Really, really fun. I gotta say, after some of the bonehead runs I've been making on, like, Future Saga and other stages, it was really nice to bring this team, because it, it made me, it kind of reassured me that, you know what, I'm capable of some big brain moves. So now we got Evil Boo here, I don't even care about the guy. We got Fit Boo going. At this point, I'm kind of deciding, do I want to throw on Evil Boo, or do I want to have Boo Tanks? Nah, I'd rather have Boo Tanks. I'd rather have Boo Tanks around. 2.3 million attack stat. Did we, did we stun him here? I don't think we did. Yeah, we don't actually stun him on this one. So next turn, we actually might get hit with something. This is the defense boost. Did we get another one? Nope. But his health is going down pretty quick. sealed him. His stun is only a passive stun, so it's not going to last until next turn. But we sealed him, so he's not even going to hit us with a super next turn. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Why not? Let's use those active skills. Now we're just showing off. <laughs> Excellent! I'm stronger than I ever was before! Don't worry. The pain is but momentary. Jack will fall. I know it's a little excessive to do this, but, you know, I wanted to be fancy. So, let's absorb Gohan to kill Gohan. Makes sense. To the end of the Earth! Did that kill him? Oh, yes it did. <laughs> Additional. No Vegito to save your hide here. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, I thought that... Oh, okay. Well, Fit Boo had to steal the show. All right, so there you go, folks. That is Transformation Boost, Majin Power, Power Absorption, all in one. A stupidly broken team. Look at that. I end with full health. This team is really, really, really good. I suggest you guys try this out. Even if you beat the stage already, consider trying this team just to enjoy, for once, the immense heal factor that this team provides, because it is a lot of fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what team you ran for Transformation Boost, and if you haven't already done so, are you going to try this Majin Power Squad? Because it's, uh, it's dummy proof. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future, and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.